hope you guys are feeling good. I had a great weekend. I spent the whole weekend playing man's favorite pastime, getting yelled at by my girlfriend. <laughs> guys, you ever hear this complaint? She came at me. She's like, Johnny, you've been so boring lately. You always do the same thing. Surprise me for once. So I didn't pull out. <laughs> I'd never seen her so surprised. She starts running around the room, get the morning after pill, hurry! I took it, it made my stomach queasy. <laughs> Just wanna let you guys know, we're not together anymore, FYI. Which is weird. That's my mom's favorite joke too, which is also exciting and uh, I just got some weird news from her. I found out that I was conceived down the street from where I grew up. So I guess the saying is true that most accidents do occur within two miles of the home. <laughs> and she hates that. She's like, you weren't an accident. You were a pleasant surprise. I'm like, Ma, if I was a pleasant surprise, why didn't my crib have to go in dad's poker room? <laughs> most babies get a mobile. I had a roulette wheel. What's up, dude? I don't know. It's weird. Another thing I don't like is they're starting to bring out uh, old school cartoons on DVD. Some of you guys may have bought them. It could ruin a childhood. I went out for Christmas and I bought myself my favorite cartoon on DVD, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. You guys remember? A couple of you. I couldn't wait to watch it until I sat down as an adult and realized it was the gayest cartoon <laughs> in history. You'd think a straight warrior would wear some battle armor or something. He-Man wore Daisy Dukes pair of Uggs boots and had that lesbian mullet. Could have been the tambourine man for Josie and the Pussycats, you know? It's like you're supposed to defend the castle of Grayskull, not decorated He-Man, all right? Let's move on from there. Wow, who is getting those manly drinks? Dude in the hat's like, I'm getting two. Nah, that's totally cool. Any you want to go out for the weekend? To the bar? You guys are all 21, right? You look like you're 12, but anyway, let's just move on. I had a good time over the weekend. I went out in Orange County, saw a lot of amazing looking girls, and saw an incredible, sexy, low back tattoo on a dude. <laughs> I mean, ladies, if you want to get a low back tattoo, to me, that's sexy, it's not a tramp stamp, it's just a friendly invite, you know? <laughs> but for a guy to get one, I mean, you know he had to be hammered, because what's that like showing off his tattoos to girls now? Like, oh, right here's a, that's my barbed wire, right here. And, oh, right there, that's my skull and my crossbones. Oh, and this right here is my psychedelic dolphin. <laughs> and that's a My Little Pony. So you know. And the guy got all tough with me, too. He's like, dude, my tattoos say stuff about me. I'm like, all right, man. I see that tribal pattern on your arm. To me, that says you would survive prison. Cool. But that tribal pattern on your low back, to me, says you might enjoy prison. I don't know. <laughs> Not really sure about that. Anyone ever get kicked out of a bar before they set foot inside? Yeah. I went out wearing a simple white t-shirt one time. Didn't think it would be an issue until the door guy stopped me. He's like, dude, you cannot wear a white t-shirt into a bar. That's gang clothing. I'm like, dude, what respectable gang would let my boy band looking punk ass in? <laughs> Let's say I'm in a gang. Who's going to be afraid of the Orange County cupcakes? <laughs> What's our gang sign going to be? Tossing up Eskimo kisses like... <laughs> OC Cupcakes, putting the hug back in thug. <laughs> it's not gonna work at all. Lost my wallet when I was drunk a few weeks ago. You ever do that, guys? Embarrassing. The next day, I got a knock on my front door. There was a homeless dude that saw my address and returned it to me. Yeah, I was so grateful to him. I said, dude, tell me what I can do to repay you. He goes, well, you find me a place to sleep tonight. I said, absolutely, bro. So I called the cops. It felt good to help. It did. Well, I was at a show one time, and this dude actually stood up in the audience and told me that the reason we uh, had homeless people is because all the Mexicans and minorities came in, take their jobs, and make them homeless. I was like, what? It was insane. Even the homeless guy sitting in the front row was like, I don't know what that guy's talking about. <laughs> a Mexican did not take my job. It was this damn leprechaun forcing me to drink Jack Daniels. Get away! <laughs> it's ridiculous. And uh, since it's the new year, I think we all should make resolutions. Ladies, here's one for you. How about you start having sex with nice guys for a change? How about that? Yeah. yeah. I have a theory. I think if, if, a, if you're a good dude and you go two weeks without getting any action, we should be able to file for dating unemployment. 
How cool would that be? Every two weeks get a chick in the mail? I think that'd be great. Anyone ever been unemployed? Just How cool would it be going to the dating unemployment office? Just get in line with all the other confused, horny guys. You know, talk to the lady at the front with the smoker's cough. She's like, tell me your special skills. Well, actually, I have a steady income. I open all car doors, and I'm a great listener. The only opening we have right now is for a platonic friend. Oh, come on, lady. Platonic friend, that job sucks. There's no benefits. And I end up doing all the work at that job. Then the guy with the tattoos and the drug habit gets paid. You guys never been employed. Okay, good. Young audience, this doesn't work. That's fine. That's why I admire professional athletes, though. I do. Because think about it. They can have a great game, get interviewed right afterwards when they're sweaty and out of breath, and be the hero. Man, wouldn't it be cool if we can get interviewed right after doing something amazing, when we're sweaty and out of breath? Like after a one-night stand? <laughs> think about it, dude. You step outside of your bedroom, the reporter is standing right there. He's like, great game tonight. Your opponent's fully satisfied. She's already sleeping. What are your thoughts? Well, uh, first off, I just want to thank God for letting me give 110% and letting me drop the hammer tonight like I did. It was good. Well, what was your strategy tonight? After all, you only lasted 17 seconds last game. That's never happened before. I swear, I've been training real hard on my own, sometimes five or six times a day. Just because you gotta be ready, the schedule gets kind of rough every 28 days or so. You gotta be ready for that. But my strategy was stay aggressive at the bar. You know, my opponent was showing off her low back tattoo. I knew that we'd get some penetration tonight. That's good. Well, lastly, uh, what, what was most satisfying about the game tonight? Well, it had to be the teamwork. You know, uh, my man Jose Cuervo played a great game tonight. And I gotta thank my sponsor, Trojan Glow in the Dark Condoms. Together we worked as a team and we took care of my opponent's defense. Uh, three ugly friends with attitudes. It just feels real good to pull out this victory. You guys have been fantastic. I'm Johnny, Comedy Time TV, thanks.